I'm going to show you how to do an XP farm that's even better than the Dirty Ice speedrun farm. If you do this method correctly, you should get over 20,000 XP per hour, but it is going to be a little bit more difficult than the Dirty Ice speedrun in my opinion. The first thing that I would recommend doing is putting a silencer on one of your weapons, just in case anything goes wrong. As far as skills go, I think that Infiltrator and Quick Fingers are nice to have. You don't really need any of these skills though, but Infiltrator and Quick Fingers are the ones that make this easiest in my opinion. Once you're ready to go, queue up for the mission Rock the Cradle on Overkill difficulty. So the first thing that we need to do is just ignore the main entrance and go over to the side entrance because it's easier. We're gonna run over here and lockpick this door. We're just gonna run through this whole area. Run all the way to the end of this hallway and then open this door. Take a left. And then once you open this door, you're going to sprint past it, and then crouch once you're behind the bartender. That's going to trigger the bouncers to move, and you can steal the blue key card from one of them. Use this to open the door, and because of that mechanic, that's going to save us a lot of time over higher difficulties. It's going to save us a lot of time over lower difficulties where they won't do that. We're going to take it right here, use the key card for the electrical facility, and we're going to open this vent. Now, at this point, we can mask up, because so we're going to need to actually climb over something. Climb over this, open this, and we're going to come over here, open this vent. Open this door, take a left here and open this, and then on our right, we're going to take another right. That's going to lead us in the bathroom, and in here, there's another vent you can open, and you can see the whiteboard, it'll tell you what switch to flip. So I got C250 blue, I'm just going to head back now that we have that information. Go in here, and I got C250 blue. Okay, the power's off. Now we need to go Please back to that accountant's office. In the accounting office. We're just going to use this computer. If we get danger money for this gig, because I saw some huge rats in the car park earlier. Just saying, could be trouble. The and we're gonna use that. If you accidentally trigger that security guard, you can kill him like how I did. But optimally, just don't sprint when you're really close to the area that he's below. And then he just won't move. So we're gonna go back to the server room. Now this is going to be open, and we can pick up the crypto wallet. And once we have that crypto wallet, we're going to go back the way we came one more time. I got the bad spawn for it, so this is going to take a little more time than if it was on the same side I'm going towards. You don't necessarily have to take this route, but it is a little bit easier of a route to take if you do get this as the spawn. So you can also get it to spawn down there where you need to drop off the crypto wallet. But if you don't, you can go the way I'm going. Again, this is safer, but you don't actually have to go this way. And at this point, 
We're going to throw this over. Now we just have to get up to this area. Open this. And then we can escape. You have to do that last part extremely fast if you don't do it in stealth. For that last part, when you throw the bag over, once you throw the bag over, you have to run to that upstairs room extremely quickly. If you don't run to that upstairs room quickly and the assault starts before you open that door and get into the escape zone, then it's actually going to make you do another objective that's going to take a really long time. So if you don't want to play it risky and you got the bad spawn for where to drop a crypto wallet off like I did, you're just going to go in stealth and sneak your way back up to where I escaped after you throw the bag. So that one gave me 1,564 XP in a little under 5 minutes, which is faster than the Dirty Ice already. It is a little harder to pull off than the Dirty Ice speedrun, but you can also do it a lot faster than how fast I did this one. It just takes a little practice. And that's it for this video.